Hello and welcome to the walking talking topic on construction and loci question number two with me Mr Barton. Now a two part question here where the first part is a classic constructions problem and the second part is something a little bit different. So let's have a look at this. A region is found within triangle ABC using the following criteria. Points in the region are nearer to point B than point C, so closer to B than C, and greater than 4 centimetres from A. Shade this region on the triangle. Now, if it's nearer to a point than another point, you've got to switch on and think what construction that is, and that is a perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular bisector shows you all the points that are exactly the same distance from any two points, and therefore one side of it will be closer to B, one side of it will be closer to C. So, can you remember how you do your perpendicular bisector? Well, the easiest way is to get your compass, and it's to put the sharp bit on one of the points, so point C, and just make sure your compass is set so it's just over halfway. I tend to go for like three quarters of the way um, between the line that I'm trying to bisect. And then I just draw myself a nice little arc at the bottom and a nice arc at the top. And don't worry about it being quite a decent size arc, just because you've got to make sure your lines cross. Then keep your compass exactly the same distance apart, spiky bit at B, and draw them in. And fingers crossed, if you've done it right, your two arcs shall cross just like that. And then get your ruler and put a nice line between your arcs. And whatever you do, do not rub out or cross out or anything like that your arcs. Your arcs need to be in there. They're your construction lines. And that line there has exactly split B and C in half. And every point on that line is the same distance from B as C. So if I want to be nearer to B than C, I need all the points that side of the line, kind of above the line from where you're looking. But then I've also got to be greater than four centimeters from A. And if ever you need to be a certain distance away from a point, then we need our compass. We need to set it at four centimeters. So there we go there, be as accurate as you can. Play spiky bit on A. As I said last video, oh God, I'm a bit dodgy on the old compass. In fact, if it's all right with you, I'm going to try and just use my right hand. So I'm going to spin this upside down here. So spiky bit is on A. And then let's draw myself a nice circle round. I don't have to do the full circle. I'll just do it like a semicircle, just more than that. And then let's spin round. And now we've just got to switch on and make sure we know which region we're shading. So it's got to be more than four centimeters from A. So it's got to be outside of the circle. And it's got to be closer to B than C. So it's got to be this side of the line. So I reckon it's all the points that are outside the circle and are the B side of the line. So hopefully on the video, if you can see, I mean, I'm no artist, but it's that region there. And then look at this. This is the way of the GCSE these days. You, you think you're doing one skill. The next thing, we throw a curveball in and you're doing another. Calculate the area of the quadrilateral ABCD. And it tells you their diagram not drawn to scale. So this is not a constructions problem. So you need to look at this and think, what on earth shapes this? Well, it's a one, two, three, four-sided shape. But it's no four-sided shape that I've, uh, I've ever seen before. It's not a trapezium or anything like that. So there's no obvious way to work it out until you spot these two right angles. And as soon as you see right angles, switch on and think right angle triangle. And indeed, if you sneakily draw a line between B and D, just with a ruler, then you end up with a right angle triangle on the bottom that you can work out the area of, and a right angle triangle on the top that you can work out the area of. And to kind of make, make matters even better, I was thinking, oh, is this some kind of Pythagoras question? But you know what? I don't even think it is. Because here you've got a base and a height. Base and a height. So I can work out the area of that triangle. And here I've got a base and a perpendicular height. So I can work out the area of that triangle as well. So if I call this triangle 1 and that triangle 2, my area of triangle 1 is going to be 10.4 times by 7.8 base times height divided by 2. And my area of triangle 2, again, and just to see this more clearly, if you turn it round, you can see that 5 is like the base, and that 12 is the perpendicular height. So it's going to be 5 times by 12 divided by 2. Now, there are lots of other ways of doing this question, and you, people can use Socrator and Pythagoras and all that, but often uh, 
the key is looking for sneaky ways to do it. So 10.4 times 7.8 divided by 2. So I'm getting for that first bit 40.56 base times height divided by 2 centimeters squared. And my second one, 5 times 12, I'm being lazy here because I think I know that's 60, divided by 2, and that's going to be 30 centimeters squared. So my area is going to be the sum of those, and I won't be lazy this time. I think that's coming to 70.56 centimetres squared. So there we have a loci question, but fused in with just a little bit of a bonus, just spotting when some questions are easier than they first may appear.